Welcome to Execute 90 Video Help. This is the measure page of the Execute 90 Life Dashboard. You know you're on the measure page because the measure box of the Execute 90 model is highlighted. And on the left side of the screen, the measure item is also highlighted. The measure page is where you're able to track your performance. There are several features on the measure section of the dashboard. At the top of the page, you'll notice that you can scroll through the weeks of your 90-day deadline dash. The left arrow moves to previous weeks. The right arrow moves you forward in time. The measure step of the model has two parts. Number one is the measurement tracker. This enables you to get a graphical look at the trends for each of the critical action items you're tracking. This graph shows you the performance for each week in the 90 day deadline dash. This is a visual representation of your performance week by week. There is a line for each of the action items you entered in the execute page. The thick green line denotes your overall performance score. This is the average of your action items in the graph. So you can see the week by week trend of your performance. If you're tracking many items and the graph appears cluttered, you can turn off or on each item simply by clicking on the legend above the graph. This allows you to be able to see exactly the parts that you want to be able to look at the trends over the course of time. You can turn them back on depending on what it is that you want to be able to focus on specifically. You can even turn off the overall performance score. To the left of the graph are three boxes. The top box lets you know your overall performance score average through the week that you're looking at, in this case, week five. So over the course of five weeks averaged together, the overall performance score for this person is 64 out of 100. The middle box tells you your performance score up to the minute in the week that you're looking at. In this case, we are in week five, this is the score so far in week five. The bottom box tells you how you're performing compared to last week. That is to say, in this case, we are up by 23 points this week over last week. Between the measurement tracker and the dream execute model, you can see two different kinds of awards that you can earn. At the top is the winner walking award. You earn this award for being an excellent performer. You earn this award when your overall performance score is 90 or higher. Below the winner walk-in award is the way shower award. The way shower award is received when your overall performance score improves by 5% or more compared to last week. So for this person, they earned the way shower award in week two in week three and in week five. They earned the winter walking award in week five. The second part of the measure page is the weekly scorecard. So scrolling down a little bit here at the bottom, it lets you know this week's up to the minute score in each of the items that you are tracking for each of the items that you're looking at. The measurement scorecard enables you to get a quick view of items you're performing well in and items you need to improve in. So in this case, we can see that our person here is um, contacting. He's contacted eight out of 10 people. Now this is up to the date for this week, but his follow-up seemed to be kind of a problem because he's only got eight in this or 53%. If this seems to be a problem for a specific week, you can just scroll up, look at this blue line. This is follow-ups. The blue line is follow-ups, as you can see here in the legend. 
This blue line is trending up for the most part, but it's never at 100%. If you put your mouse over any of these handles, you can see exactly what, it, what the line is tracking. Follow-ups at 40. Follow-ups in this week is at 67, which is his high part. But going down here, we have down to 53. So it's only at about 50% over the course of time. Which is not great for follow-ups. The fortune, remember, is in the follow-ups. And you can see that just by looking at this weekly scorecard. One of the most important features on the measure page is the ability to export your graph and the weekly scorecard. When you click on the export button, The Execute 90 system creates a PDF formatted document that you can send via email to your support partner. Of course, your support partner will need this report in order to best help you during your support partner accountability meetings. Lastly, you can click on the name in the upper right hand corner to be able to log out of the Execute 90 system. That's all there is to help you measure your performance of your mentor-approved plan.